Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. A couple of weeks ago I shared a really great tool which was the Python Color Palette Finder, and today I wanted to share this same tool but for R. So this Color Palette Finder lets you search through and find the ideal colors for your graphs and data visualizations. I'll put the URL in the video description, let's have a look at how this tool works. So scrolling down we can see a number of different graphs here, and along the top we've got some different tools. The first one here is the filter, and when we click on the filter, we have some different options. So we can filter by the type of graph we're doing, qualitative, sequential, or diverging. If we think about, say, qualitative being something like a pie graph or a bar graph, so just some separate ordinal categories, sequential being something where we're kind of counting upwards or building, diverging being where we might have kind of hot or cold, so like a blue to red or something like that. Palette length is number of colors, and we can also pick a color target, so ones where the palette will be built around that color. That can be really useful if you're trying to match a particular color scheme, or maybe corporate colors or something like that. If you start with the target color, and then you can build out from there. Next button up is a list of all the colors. And so we click on that, and we can see that there are lots and lots and lots. It just keeps going and going and going. You can just click there, have a bit of a scroll. Sometimes that is actually enough. You might just pick out something that you like the look of. I would normally work with the filters, or we'll have a look in a second. There's a randomizer, which can be kind of handy as well. We've got arrows that will just cycle through the different color palettes. One other thing to note here is below it, it does give the source. So it tells us how many colors, what it thinks it's best for, and which R package you find it in. So the arrows will scroll through. Here we've got the export button, and we can see we get export the string of just the hashes. So these are the different colors just as hash codes, which if you want to match into something like an HTML is pretty handy. We've then got the R code as well. So we can see the library and then the palette names that we want to use. Next up, we have another drop down, and this one lets us filter for different types of color blindness. So we've got the, the red, green, and the blue, yellow color blindness in there, also the option of grayscale only. And that will let us filter so that we only have palettes that are going to be inclusive for people that have any of these issues. The little present button is a randomizer, so we hit that, cycles through, and eventually takes us to a random one. I do like that when you click this and you go through the random ones, it is a bit of a shuffler, and so you actually see some others. So sometimes, even if you don't like the one that it ends on, you might actually have liked one of the ones that it cycled through. So it can be handy to just see a few different ones. Lastly, we've got the share button, click on that, and it gives us a URL to this page with this color palette selected. So that's going to be really handy for sharing with collaborators, other people that you want to use this palette. That's it for today, this is the R Graph Gallery Color Palette Finder, I'll put the URL in the video description. I hope you found it helpful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back really soon with more videos on R, stats, AI, and random stuff.